Classic cars are the embodiment of a bygone era and the source of endless fascination, frustration, and ultimately, deep affection for those of us who get pulled into their orbit. There's a peculiar, almost masochistic joy in embracing these beautiful, yet maddening machines. Let's embark on this journey of understanding why classic cars are so undeniably problematic, and why, despite it all, that's absolutely fine. First, let's tackle the elephant in the room, reliability. Or, to be more accurate, the spectacular lack of it. Classic cars are like that unreliable friend who promises to pick you up from the airport, only to call you from some remote diner because they got sidetracked by a shiny vintage jukebox. You're left stranded more often than you'd like to admit, and yet, you can't help but forgive them. These cars are infamous for breaking down at the most inconvenient times, often for reasons that defy logic. One minute, you're cruising down the highway, feeling invincible, and the next, you're on the shoulder, hood up, trying to decipher the mystery of why your beloved machine decided to take a nap. And that brings us to maintenance, the constant dance with destiny that keeps classic car owners perpetually engaged. These cars demand a level of attention that can only be described as devotion. Finding parts is a modern-day treasure hunt, where the treasure is buried under layers of rust and decades-old dust. You might spend hours scouring the internet, navigating obscure forums, or haggling at swap meets, all in pursuit of that elusive part that will complete your masterpiece, or at least make it run for another month. Let's not sugarcoat it, classic cars are financial black holes. You pour money into them, fully aware that you'll never see a return on your investment. But it's not about the money, is it? It's about the obsession, the passion, the irrational love affair with a machine that by all rational measures should have been left in the past. Let's dive into the comfort, or lack thereof. In today's world of plush, climate-controlled interiors, Driving a classic car is a visceral experience that some might label as punishment. The noise is deafening, a symphony of rattles, squeaks, and the roar of an unfiltered engine. The vibrations are relentless, shaking you to your core. The seats? They're about as ergonomic as a church pew, offering little in the way of support or comfort. You feel every bump, every imperfection in the road, as if the car is determined to ensure you're fully aware of its struggle. And then there's the smell, a heady concoction of gasoline, oil, and old leather. It assaults your senses, reminding you at every turn that you're piloting a machine from a different era. Safety is another area where classic cars fall short. Dramatically so. Driving one is like strapping yourself into a rolling metal time capsule with little regard for modern safety standards. No airbags, no crumple zones, just you, a vintage seatbelt, and the open road. Every journey is a calculated risk, a dance with fate that feels both thrilling and terrifying. Yet, here's the twist, none of these drawbacks really matter in the grand scheme of things. Because despite all their flaws, classic cars have soul. They possess a character and history that modern vehicles, with all their precision engineering and technological wizardry, simply can't replicate. When you drive a classic car, you're not just getting from point A to point B, you're engaging with a piece of history. These cars tell stories with every dent and scratch, they carry the memories of past owners, the echoes of old road trips, and the spirit of the era they were born in. Classic cars demand respect and patience, but they give back in spades. They teach you to appreciate the art of driving, not just the act of moving but the skill, 
the attention, and the connection between man and machine. They bring people together, whether at a car show, a meetup in a parking lot, or in the solitude of a garage, where enthusiasts share stories and swap tips. There's a camaraderie among classic car lovers that's hard to find elsewhere. It's a shared understanding of the quirks and challenges, the triumphs and the heartbreaks. And then there's the indescribable joy of those perfect moments when everything comes together. When the engine finally roars to life after weeks of tinkering, and you're gliding down the open road with the wind in your hair, there's no feeling quite like it. It's a connection to the past, a celebration of craftsmanship and passion that transcends the frustrations and expense. So yes, classic cars suck. They're unreliable, expensive, uncomfortable, and sometimes downright dangerous. But that's okay. In a world that's increasingly digital, fast-paced, and impersonal, classic cars remind us of a time when things were built with heart and soul. They offer us a chance to slow down, to appreciate the journey as much as the destination. They allow us to disconnect from the relentless pace of modern life and immerse ourselves in a tactile, analog experience that engages all the senses. There's something profoundly rewarding about coaxing an old engine to life, feeling the mechanical symphony beneath your fingertips, and knowing that you're part of a lineage of drivers who have cherished that very same machine. Classic cars also invite us into a community, a tribe of like-minded individuals who revel in the nuances and eccentricities of these old beasts. Whether it's at a local car show, a classic car rally, or an online forum, there's a shared language, a bond that transcends age, background, and geography. We swap stories of restoration victories and mishaps, offer advice born from countless hours spent under the hood, and celebrate each other's triumphs as if they were our own. It's a fellowship bound by grease-stained hands and shared passion. Moreover, classic cars serve as a tangible link to history. They are rolling time capsules, preserving the craftsmanship, design philosophies, and cultural moments of the eras they hail from. Each model reflects the technological advancements and stylistic trends of its time, offering insights into how people lived, what they valued, and how they envisioned the future. Driving a classic car is like stepping into a living museum, where you're not just an observer, but an active participant in the ongoing story of automotive evolution. Of course, none of this is to say that owning a classic car is without its challenges. It requires a certain mindset, a willingness to embrace imperfection and unpredictability. You learn to laugh at the absurdity of it all, the endless tinkering, the inexplicable noises, the triumphant moments followed by inevitable setbacks. It's a hobby that demands resilience and creativity, where problem-solving becomes an art form. But therein lies the beauty. In an age where convenience and efficiency often trump character and individuality, classic cars stand as a testament to the value of embracing complexity and imperfection. They remind us that not everything worth having comes easily and that the rewards of persistence and dedication are often immeasurable. So, while classic cars may suck in a multitude of infuriating ways, that's perfectly okay. It's their very imperfections that make them endearing and their challenges that make them rewarding. They connect us to the past, to each other, and to the sheer joy of the open road. And for those of us who fall under their spell, the love affair is one that's destined to endure, fueled by the timeless allure of these magnificent, maddening machines. <laughs>